With the vision to aim for zero, zero serious injuries and deaths in new Volvo cars by 2020, Volvo Cars is using the Internet of Things, advanced analytics, and innovation in engineering to make and deliver on this seemingly utopian promise unheard of from a car maker. We have a brand promise that we should be designed around you to make life less complicated, but also protect you and, and be the safe car. So, so that's our brand promise. Uh, we have a vision to be the world's most desired and innovative premium car brand. The mission is to be to focus on our core values being quality, safety and environment. Protecting and caring for people is at the heart of Volvo's philosophy. Adopting a strategic data-driven culture gives Volvo cars the ability to develop future technology today. The connection between this the sentient enterprise and, and also the unified data architecture it will be crucial for us and, and we will need to connect this. Volvo Cars knows architecture and complex analytics are the enabler to capitalize on the Internet of Things for key initiatives like IntelliSafe Autopilot self-driving cars, Project 26 and new business opportunities self-driving cars, which is, is based on, on, on Internet of Things. The cars need to have the help to be online, uh, to, to be able to be autonomously driven. That will then also create a new business situation, but it also creates uh, the fact that we can offer um, new uh, functionalities to the driver because the driver doesn't need to drive the car any longer. New functionalities like pedestrian and animal detection, road edge and barrier detection, vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication, self-parking and adaptive cruise control with steer assist. With those autonomous features, Volvo Car's next strategic move focuses on individualization and Project 26. So we have started our Project 26 because we know that the average commute uh, that a Volvo customer has is 26 minutes each direction. Uh, and what should we offer then uh, this uh, average customer uh, when it comes to functionality during this uh, commute? We're talking about getting a safe uh, position for, for taking a nap so you could safely recline your backrest of the, of the seat, but also certainly make your office uh, work uh, in an efficient way, but also consume like multimedia consumption with, with video and streaming and, and, and such things. With 26 minutes or more and the connectivity of cars, new business opportunities are endless. This is a new business opportunity that is evolving and we would like to make sure that we could provide services that the customer enjoy to the fact that they stay loyal to us rather than other players coming into that 26 minutes and picking up those uh, opportunities that are laying there. So that's certainly uh, an important business opportunity, a uh, type of game changer now in, in the industry. To fulfill all of these, Volvo Cars turns the Internet of Things into the analytics of things. The analytics of things is only a way to both connect uh, data in, internally and, and where we could make use of it for, for, for further product development, but also ultimately actually have this direct action based on the analytics. Direct action that tells drivers about features they haven't used on their vehicle or warn them that ICE is ahead. It starts with this road friction indication that's actually real-time activity and real-time models that are running that are taking action based on real-time data whereas the others are could be very, very long, long-term perspective and taking utilize utilize this data for next development of the next car generation. Analytics lead engineers to build better vehicles and already gives Volvo owners access to predictive maintenance alerts, so vehicles go to the garage before there is a failure. IoT data and the analytics of things enabled Volvo Cars to start the first ever car sharing company in the world anticipating the changing markets of car ownership. We must embrace that, and we are doing that now. That's part of our strategy. We, we do have 
uh, actually the first uh, car sharing company in the world is Sunfleet uh, and we are fully owning Sunfleet and we're launching it for the complete European markets uh, step by step. Volvo Cars, capitalizing on the Internet of Things for endless opportunities to keep drivers safe and keep cars designed around you.